The VFD Group PLC has released its 2020 annual reports and financials. The company delivered the report at its fifth annual general meeting in Lagos, where it announced a 6.7 billion naira gross earnings, a 66% increase from its 2019 earnings. Ifunaya Eze reports. Present at the fifth annual general meeting of the VFD Group PLC, we are executive management team, board of directors and shareholders. Presenting its financial scorecard for 2020, the management of the group stated that the 96% increase in gross earnings of 6.7 billion naira from 3.4 billion naira in 2019 validates the group's strategic direction. We did quite well this year and it was basically as a result of uh, treasury activities that were done as um, well as income from subsidiary companies that we invested in. Um, we are quite delighted about the performance of the group. We've been 11 years in existence. We've made some remarkable investments along the line, uh, mostly in the financial services industry. And those companies are coming into maturity now and the dividend and the yields that they're making on those investments is quite, is quite remarkable now. There was a bit of activities for us that end us a bit around interest revenues, um, but also we did a lot of treasury activities um, like we've never before. Um, because you know we we were a bit more conservative with our um, business activity, so we rely significantly on our treasury desk to bring us incomes. The group says that declaring eight naira fifty one cover payout as shareholders' dividend is an indication of its key performance levels of revenue, profit, and balance sheet growth. We have uh, multiple investments in the finance sector in Nigeria, and um, the AGM is always. Um, a period either of um, harvest or a period where you will give account of what you have done. Um, fortunately, we are able to declare um, dividend, as you can see, of um, 8 naira 51 cobo per ordinary shares, which I think is commendable given the challenges and then the trials we, that we've all gone through through this COVID period. I think it's amazing that they are able to do that considering how 2020 went for a lot of companies and I think I'm really I'm really impressed with, with what they've declared and we're all really happy with the results. On its outlook for 2021, the group maintains it will continue to deploy cost-effective measures to deliver on its strategic objectives. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.